Well, let's turn things over now to weather here in South Florida. Jen, keeping an eye on it for us, and we've got a big football game today. <laughs> yes, we do, Brooke. So we're expecting it to be very steamy out there, uh, especially, of course, by the middle of the afternoon. In fact, temperatures are ready, getting a head start because we're in the low to mid 80s, the warm spot Key West at 85 degrees. Now, the wind is pretty light, but notice that the flow, the wind direction is out of the south south southwest, even out of the west up in Fort Lauderdale and north of that through Pompano Beach. So with a flow out of the southwest, that's going to keep our humidity high, our temperatures in going into the low 90s. And of course, definitely a chance for thunderstorms uh, that could target the east areas. But feels like forecasts will definitely go into the triple digits before any rain starts to fall. So by early afternoon, we're going to be feeling like at least 100 degrees across much of South Florida. A real time Doppler. There's barely any rain right now except for a few little showers um, pushing offshore south of the upper keys. But there's this one that did roll over uh, Isla Mirada and that just gave a little cool down for 10 minutes. Those showers are not a huge impact this morning, although uh, for the keys, you're still under that coastal flood advisory through at least this morning because the high tide will be peaking at least uh, one and a half feet above the average high tide. So keep that in mind. A live view out in Lardo by the sea. Some people already heading out there and making it a beach day. Now, if you want to head take the boats out, seas are only two feet. The bay's at a light shop, no advisories, and the wind stays out of the south southwest, even over the water up to 10 knots. Of course, if you head out to the beach, use a sunscreen. The UV index is very high, but rip currents are low out there. And keep an eye on the sky because there will be pop up showers by two o'clock that will be coming in from the west. But it is after four o'clock by around six and Miami Day could see some heavy downpours, which means for the early start of the UM game, which starts at 730, could have a heavy thunderstorm, so be prepared for that. So far, we're starting off quiet on the radar. Just a couple of clouds out there. There is a front to the north of us, but that is stalling as we continue with a southwest flow. High pressure to the north. Now, once this front starts to stall, high pressure will be the influence. So by tomorrow, we have an easterly breeze, which will produce those afternoon thunderstorms, but out west. Another front by midweek moves into the panhandle. That could be a possible cold front for us, but it won't arrive until Friday. Before then, highs in the low 90s with a chance of thunderstorms each afternoon. Brooke. All right.